I've said in the past that DCOM is a meritocracy, is that we do things based on merit. And uh, Melissa came up with a better word, which I really love. I was Melissa and or Sheridan, they can argue about who had the, uh, the better word. And they said DCOM is actually an impactocracy. And I like that word. And what that means is uh, to uh, excel at DCOM, you have to make an impact. So it's not just I'm coming in and working hard, it's that I'm actually making an impact and doing something. And I really like that word. It actually changed some of our thinking a little bit and conversation around, around a few things. What my desire is, so if you're a manager at DCOM, pay attention to what I'm about to say. My desire, and actually if you're not a manager, pay attention to DCOM. <laughs> um, my desire at DCOM is to be totally transparent in everything we do. So the reason sometimes when somebody, you can see somebody being given an opportunity to do something and somebody else not being given an opportunity, that should be based on impact and merit. And it should be readily explainable to whoever is asking for that. And I think that might be the, the issue we miss sometimes is that explanation of that. This should not just be because I decided so, it should be very explainable. So we are desperate for people to step up. Scott's starting a leadership program right now. We're desperate for people to step up and have that impact. That's why I started with this whole conversation around that. If anybody's not certain how to make an impact, if you say, you know, hey, I want to make an impact and I just don't know what to do, go back to the thing I said earlier. Go talk to your manager. If your, impact, if your manager says, I have no idea, go talk to Carol. And if that doesn't work, I got a nice couch in my office. Come and sit down on the couch. We'll figure out how to make an impact. There are lots of ways to make an impact at DCOM. We are, we are growing and we are trying to grow faster than we are even growing. So there should be a huge opportunity. There's nobody in the building who should sit there and say, I don't have an opportunity. If, that, if, that, if anybody can sit here and honestly say, I don't have an opportunity, that's my fault. And that's why my office door is always open. I want you to come in and sit down on that. I've said before and I'll say it again, is my biggest job is to create opportunities for you guys and the people that Melissa is going to be bringing through the door. And right now there are lots of opportunities at DCOM.